That's right. Hello, guys. We are back finally. Harvest is finished. We had to go back to northwest Kansas and cut some of the best wheat we've ever seen. And we get to come back to this. My wife, she's been out here working hard every single day making sure these pumpkins stay alive. Right, babe? That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and so we just got done. First video you're going to get to see. Kate's pumpkin and it's growing. It's growing very well. 91, 92 inches on day 24, Kate. That's awesome. Still, the plant over there looks great. This plant, I would say we're on a solid A- minus on my plant this year. Compared to last year, we were at a D at this time last year on the plant, I would say. So I just like to give myself a little rating of how the plant's doing. Certain things that I've learned this year that hopefully we're going to apply to next year. I learned a lot, so obviously the plant's getting better, but there's still a few things that we can do to hopefully make it better for next year. That being said, hopefully the pumpkin grows better than last year. So what are we looking? Well, we were hoping to measure on day 30. That's normally our big measurement. But now we're actually measuring on day 31. So we're one day over. Day 30, you're looking for... If you want to do really good, 500 pounds. Anything more than 500 pounds, you're doing great. We've never hit 500 pounds. So, without further ado, let's give her a look. Well, there you go. That right there is a giant pumpkin. What do you guys think? Is it grown? Yeah. yeah. Can you sit on it? Nope, nope. Can't sit on it. I don't like to. I know some people like to hug them and do that. I don't like to touch them a whole lot. So there it is. You can put your hand on it. There it is. Look at that. Yep, we gotta be very careful with your nails. Straight hands. Very good. Just your fingers. There you go. No nails. Okay. Girls, why don't we step back? They want to see how much it measures. Step back a little bit. Okay, hop on off. How do we measure it? Well, we measure the widest part and it's way down here. So I'm going to just give you a little look here. Flip it over. And actually, I have to have Cade help me with this. So Cade, why don't you hop on down? It's too big to measure by myself without taping it on here. That's a real good thing, right Cade? Yeah. Hold that guy down there a little ways. Let me, let me come around, let go. Uh -huh. Keep letting it come. Keep letting it slide. Let it slide a little more. Okay. All right. He said it was twisted. Oh boy. What are you out right there, Kate? What is that, Mark? Uh, ten feet. Ten feet. Okay. Can you hold that back up? I fell down on this. Oh wait. You're. There we go. You got it. Yep. Right there, a little over 11 feet, which is 132 inches. Whoa. Whoa. That's good for us. Very good. Very good. A little sand got on there. We don't like our pumpkin to get dirty, right, Cade? Yeah. Cade knows all the things that he's supposed to do. We talk about this other days. Go all the way down here. What do you got? You're at 72 and 6 feet and 10 plus inches is 82. And then Cade, let's go on this side. Come all the way down again. Touch it right there. Up and over. Watch out a little bit here, buddy. Yep, yeah, once you go back. Very good. Okay, once again, it's right at the... It was like 9 inches. Oh, I kind of... Uh, not quite nine inches, which is uh, six, seven, eighty, eighty plus inches. So we measured it up, one thirty-two, and then uh, eighty this way, eighty-two this way. You put that into the calculator, five hundred and seventy pounds. Holy cow! High five. That's right. We probably hit five hundred pounds on day twenty-nine. So somewhere around there with 500 pound mark, probably right at day 29. So we're doing good, probably 35, 40 pounds a day right now. Keep her growing. See you guys.